volunteered for the international headquarters of Scotty DTV, but I was out of Steve Holcomb Pro Auto Custom Interiors, and they were just finishing up a 59 Impala convertible I think y'all are going to like. Let me get the camera turned around. We'll take a quick look at it. Steve, if it gets cooler than a 59 Impala, I don't know. I'll tell you, that's that's an iconic car right there. Like they only made it one year. Yeah, no, right? that's pretty cool. And you think, like, 55, the tri-fives and all, they had kind of got away from the wings, but then, voila, they brought it back just for a 59, little 59, there you go, right? yeah. Actually, yeah, 59, 60, but 59 is a car by itself. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, they are always cool. Big cars, but they carry their weight well. Yeah. And, of course, this one, you've got the Hulk on the treatment going on. And them cars take up the whole shop. I bet they? <laughs> they do, yeah. I bet, I bet you're glad to, because yeah. you've got plenty of room to work in them, oh, but you're yeah. glad to get them out so you can get two cars yeah, in Yeah, place, just about right? it, yeah, exactly. Tell me what you did to this one. Well, it's, uh, again, it's 59 uh, convertible. So put the red convertible top on it and then a uh, red leather interior. And then it's, uh, of course, the car is red. So it's a triple red car. And then we put a um, an accent silver brushed material in the, in the seats and in the door panels to really make it pop. Because uh, Roger Riddle loves for that interior just to like stand out. And that, and that silver does, it makes it really stand out. So, and I like the really red cool. on the red on the red, but I agree it needs a little something. And black kind of brings it down a little, tones it down a little uh -huh. bit. But that, you're right, adds a little more pop. Oh yeah, that yeah. silver with the silver thread and the silver accent uh, uh, popping and stuff like that really makes that thing gives it that '50s look, which right. is what it is. So, and so y'all built the console and everything in this one. Yep, yep. Uh, four bucket seats, the console all the way back, uh, trunk. You know, we did the trunk to accent the interior. It's got door sliding doors in the trunk we can get back to the battery and the on off switch uh, of course we do the iconic um led lighting you know right. and it really makes that i mean it just when you turn the lights off i mean it's a cool looking interior sure i mean when you but when you turn them leds on and them accent lighting i mean it just like it glows totally different yeah, too yeah. you know when you're looking at that interior with the leds on it has this really mystique look about it and then you turn the lights on and then you can really see the interior and they don't even it's a real change you know you know if i ain't mistaken i believe we was doing this before they're putting them in the cars factory <laughs> yeah it's very possible <laughs> i believe we was since yeah. the first time i saw it though you know you've done two interiors <laughs> for me and the only thing i care about is led lights yeah Dave, LED lights. I mean, it just makes it pop i mean especially if you if you're going to take it to a show or just you just want to enjoy it right on. you know if you want people to talk about it in interior you know put some accent lighting in there you know do something a little bit different it really just makes it it's like icing on the cake right? i agree with you <laughs> no i love the stance of this car the wheels work what's up under the hood you know yeah it's got a it looks like the ls3 um but they made it look like a 409 okay. with the valve covers and the, the breather and stuff so it's really cool just get in and start it up right, you know right. it's got the features of the brand new car but still got the looks of an old car sort of right. like no, sure. I really dig the air cleaner. Yeah, they did a really nice job uh, building all that and painting. It looks really neat. You have neat. to look close. If you were just to go around, because the car's got such that authentic feel to yeah. it, you might think, well, they put a big block in this. Well, something. if you glance through it, yeah, right. you'd think it was a 409 the way it was. So. Right. But and yeah, it's really neat. And that thing is slammed on the ground. No air ride, that's the way it rides. Oh, that's static. Yeah. yeah. Big wide wheels on the back. Uh, it, just, it just slammed on the ground. It's ready to cruise. No, I really dig it, man. Tell me anything else we uh, I'm missing about the car. You know I don't know nothing. It's cool. Uh, well, I don't. It's got, it does have the power windows in it. We put the power windows in the console, the switches, um, cup holders in the switches. Uh, pretty much basic, um, just a regular '59 Chevrolet. You know, not you don't a lot of. have to do anything of, to them. No. Nah, you yeah, wouldn't I mean, want to do any body mods. That's for sure. What could you do right, to make that thing look right. any better? So, no. And I think again, you and the boys made the interior absolutely match this this look of this car the feel of this car good job guys thank you scotty appreciate it very much so there you go from steve holcomb pro auto custom interiors a 1959 impala convertible hope you all have enjoyed it see ya Make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.